I think this is probably the lowest that I've ever felt about football. I think this is the lowest that I've ever felt about a Chelsea team. Like never before have Chelsea Football Club had a manager that so clearly despises Chelsea Football Club. Never before have Chelsea had a squad of players who so clearly don't care about the traditions and what Chelsea Football Club is supposed to represent. Never before have Chelsea had an ownership that are so preoccupied with financial gain that the on-the-pitch activity actually pales into insignificance. Never before has the disparity between the fans and the ownership and the players and the manager been greater. Never before have we had such a woeful collection of footballers. And that's what we are. We aren't a team. There's nothing united about us. There's no harmony within this football club. We are merely a collection of distinctly average footballers. And I genuinely mean that. Never before in the Premier League era have Chelsea had such an abject collection of footballers. I really do mean that. Take yourself back. Pre-Abramovich. Think about the team that Gianluca Vialli built. The Gianluca Vialli team that won three trophies. That was far and away greater than this team. You know, Dennis Wise in central midfield was a far better player than Enzo Fernandez. Think about how good that Chelsea team were. Roberto Di Matteo, Torre, Andre Flo, Gianfranco Zola. It was a sensational team that was 10 times better than this Chelsea team. Like, compare anybody. Compare any of the players. Compare Dennis Wise to Enzo Fernandez. People will always say Enzo Fernandez, he won the World Cup, he's done this, he's done that. But let's face it, Enzo Fernandez has been terrible. He has been absolutely useless. And today, it's one of the worst performances I think I've ever seen. Like Enzo Fernandez lost possession for Chelsea today on 23 occasions. We are playing one of the worst sides in Premier League history. I think it's really important to acknowledge quite who we were playing. We are playing a team who are compare who are comparable to the worst Premier League teams in history. They aren't comparable to the other teams in the relegation zone. They are comparable to that Derby County team that went down with record low points. They are comparable to that Swindon Town team that conceded 100 goals. That is how bad this Sheffield United team are. They are a side that never really intended to come up. They came up by accident. They got rid of all their best players and somehow they have got a point against Chelsea. Sheffield United have snatched a point against Chelsea. Oli McBurney. <laughs> that is woeful, isn't it? It's, it's actually pitiful. It's desperate. And that's what Chelsea are now. We are desperate. We are completely insignificant. We are mid-table nothing. We are mid-table mediocrity. And we have, we have a team full of players who are clearly there for the money. They have no interest in what Chelsea are. They have no real interest in what Chelsea represent. They have no desperation to win. They have no standards. And I think that's crucial. Like Enzo Fernandez today, he gave the ball away 23 times. He also won just one of his 10 duels. And he had less than an 80% passing accuracy. But the crucial thing here is the duels. Because that's just him versus the opposite player. Look, I think that the Chelsea board are a disgrace. I think that Todd Bowley is one of the worst things to have ever happened to Chelsea Football Club. I think that Todd Bowley and Egg Barley, despite the fact that they no longer speak, despite the fact that they have fallen out, you know, it's an open secret in football that they can't stand the sight of one another. Combined, they are the worst thing to have ever happened to Chelsea Football Club. And as much as I would like to blame them for everything, we have to isolate individuals here, right? Mauricio Pochettino... I despise, absolutely despise, and I want him out of Chelsea. But we can't talk about Bowley with regard to Enzo Fernandez winning just one of his 10 duels. We can't talk about Mauricio Pochettino with regard to Enzo Fernandez winning just one of his 10 duels. That is about player application. And do you know what it is? It's because we have a side that has absolutely no standards. Back in the day, when Chelsea were who Chelsea were, there were standards. And the reason why... The reason why Chelsea was such a successful team is because we had player after player who would demand excellence in every single game, in every single moment of every single game. That's what we had. Chelsea would win away at Stoke because Michael Essien wouldn't allow us to lose. Because Claude McAuley wouldn't allow us to lose. Because Frank Lampard wouldn't allow us to lose. Because Ashley Cole wouldn't allow us to lose. And if the standards dipped a touch, John Terry would be there to insist that the standards were raised. And if the standards dipped a touch... 
Didier Drogba would be there to insist that the standards were raised. There are no standards at the club now. There are no standard bearers. Who on the pitch insists that Chelsea commit to absolutely everything? Literally, literally nobody. And look, I've picked on Enzo Fernandez here, but there are many players that we could talk about. I could talk about Benoit Badiashile being absolutely all over the place. Like Benoit Badiashile and Axel Dizazi are two mediocre centre-halves, two average centre-halves who could probably play Premier League football but get nowhere near a team capable of winning the league. Like Axel Dizazi doesn't get anywhere near that Arsenal team. Absolutely nowhere near it. Doesn't get anywhere near that Liverpool team. Absolutely nowhere near it. But for Chelsea, because he, he dives into the fans at Selhurst Park, people love him. It's, it's just ludicrous. And the standards are on the floor. Like, you know, I've said Fernandez is rubbish, and I think he is. But how rubbish is Baddy Shile? Rubbish. How rubbish is Mikhailo Mudrik? Rubbish. And you know what? When I think about Mikhailo Mudrik, and it really does hit me hard, this. I did a live, and I actually spoke about it there. But it really did amplify quite how powerful this emotion is. Whenever I see Mikhailo Mudrik doing nothing, which is basically every single time he's on a football pitch, I immediately start thinking about when we signed him. And then I start thinking about Leandro Trossard at Arsenal. Leandro Trossard at Arsenal was signed by Arsenal because he was a panic buy. They, they didn't know what to do. They needed a winger and they desperately needed to sign someone and they didn't really know where to go. So they raided Brighton on a whim and they panicked and they signed Leandro Trossard. Leandro Trossard, just a couple of days ago, ran the length of the pitch, dummied the keeper, dinked the keeper, celebrated, gave it to Biggin to his former fans at the Amex and watched the Arsenal fans go potty in that away end. The away end fell. And that's what Chelsea used to do at Brighton. I remember winning 4-0 down there fairly recently. That's what Chelsea used to do. We used to do the business down there. And Leandro Trossard did that all in the shadow of Mikhailo Mudrik and Chelsea getting one over on Arsenal. Mikhailo Mudrik's going to Arsenal, Chelsea swoop. Mikhailo Mudrik is going to be the man that Arsenal need. Chelsea kick Arsenal when they're down. We turn up, we fly to Poland to make sure that Mudrik becomes a Chelsea player. And all the while, the answer was in Brighton. Leandro Trossard is everything that I want Mikhailo Mudrik to be. He is absolutely everything. And Mudrik, he's insignificant, isn't he? He's just woeful. Like He won't be a good Premier League player, ever. The talent is not there. In the same way that you could say that about basically a dozen of our squad. There are a dozen players at the squad who are nowhere near good enough. And then you've got the jewel in the crown. A jewel in the crown of uselessness. And that is Mauricio Pochettino. Like Mauricio Pochettino is so out of his depth at the club. He's so useless. He's clearly in dire need of the sack. But I don't think that our ownership have the bravery. I don't think they're daring enough to sack him. So we're lumbered. And why they won't sack him, I do not know. Like, compare compare what Mauricio Pochettino has done in the Chelsea role as manager with what Graham Potter did, or even what Frank Lampard did. Chelsea were a better team under Frank Lampard this time last year than we are today. Chelsea had more points on the board than we do today. Chelsea were undoubtedly a better team. And Mauricio Pochettino has had a full season, he's had a pre-season, he's had a transfer window. Do you remember how we used to ridicule and deride Graham Potter? Think about the treatment that Frank Lampard got. And for some reason, Mauricio Pochettino is given a free pass and it doesn't make sense to me. And Pochettino is at the epicentre of everything going wrong with Chelsea. You know, we can talk about individuals, we can talk about the ownership. But Mauricio Pochettino never once has changed the game. Like, the whole point of management is to manage. It's to win games from the dugout. It's to win games from the from uh, the touchline. Change things, tweak things, make things happen, make substitutions. Impact the game. He impacted the game against Sheffield United, all right? He made a few substitutions. He bought on Cassidy, which was a ludicrous thing to do. He took off Cole Palmer, which was an equally ludicrous thing to do. And uh, he brought on Badi Shile. Those three things combined... We took our best player off. We bought on Cassidy. We bought on Badishile, and Chelsea ended up conceding. So Mauricio Pochettino is directly linked to Chelsea conceding. He is directly involved in Chelsea not winning the game. And Chelsea's season now is embarrassingly over. We have four things to worry about now. We have to turn up at Wembley when we play Man City. Just for pride. I don't think we can beat them, but we just have to turn up and do the badge proud. 
we have to do well against Arsenal. We have to do well against Tottenham. But our season is officially over on the 7th. It is outrageous. So now I implore our charlatan owners to do the right thing. They need to sack Mauricio Pochettino now. And they also need to sack the sporting directors because those two are nicking a living. And I'll tell you what, to the owners, Egg Barley and Todd Bowley, despite the fact that you're not talking, maybe you could have one last conversation. And that is that you chuck yourselves in the bin while you're at it. Because the pair of you are the worst things to have ever happened to Chelsea Football Club. It's over. It is so over. You know, apathy, which is what I'm suffering from now, is so much worse than anger. It's so much worse than upset. I just can't understand how it has got this bad. But it is, it is a sickener. As always, cheers for watching. Let me know your thoughts. I'll be in the comments, actually. I want to hear what you have to say about this. Cheers.